Hi, my name is Kyla and welcome to my YouTube channel. Always wanted to have a YouTube channel. Here I am. I share flower and dinner party content on TikTok and Instagram. I've been wanting to do longer form content of sharing my floral arrangements and dinner parties. I work with urban stems. I help create floral content for them. Add some extra Valentine's Day flowers and they sent me not one, not two, but three boxes. So nice, I'm excited to see what's inside. Using an ocean pouch. It is a sustainable floral design tool that is super easy to use. I ordered it from this company called New Age Floral. I, it feels like a soil, sand. Matt thinks it feels like crushed up cereal. Completely compostable. Ew. The last time I used it, I opened up the bag and I dumped out the remains into our flower bed. It's a lot like floral foam, but good for the environment. Okay, so before you get it wet, you poke 10 to 12 holes per side. One, two, three. Oh, we're getting dirt everywhere. There we go. Got some holes in there. Uh, you put it in the bowl and soak it in water. Outside shell, the husk of the coconut. That's what that's made out of? That's that part of the coconut. Okay, so we just, Matt's researching it and apparently it's made out of coconut, the fibrous part of the coconut, not yeah, the outside the part, part, the middle part. Not the so excited that there's more sustainability happening in the floral industry because there is so much waste that goes into weddings and events. I grew up in the floral industry. I worked in weddings for a very long time. Worked for a wedding florist all through college. Fell in love with the wedding industry. Became a wedding planner, designer, producer. Did all kinds of big things. And then I took a break because my family moved to DC. I had two small children. The pandemic happened. Weddings, weddings kind of went away for a minute, so I did too. And I started posting my flower arrangements at home online. Found that to be very fun. And now I'm making flowers for my house. If you're a creative person, it's so important to keep your creative brain working. So that's what I like to share online, flowers and dinner parties, day-to-day -day life in DC. Kyla, we hope you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your plumes. <gasps> Very pretty. Some anemones, carnations, roses, ranunculus, eucalyptus. Designers puts together different recipes and you can pick them seasonally. I believe this one's called the Margot. I don't know how long it's going to be available for, but it's really beautiful. See, it's like tucked into its little house here. It's like a flower tomb. They smell good. That is very picky about scent. So that is a nice compliment coming from him. Matt hates the smell of peonies. I don't know who else hates the smell of peonies, but that's a lot of flowers. We're gonna give a bouquet away. Give them a nice fresh trim. The key is, is you need to, as fast as possible, cut your flowers, quick dip them, and get them in water. Quick dip and water. Open these stories up. They dethorned, so that's great. That makes my life so much easier. as is thrown into a vase, but I like to arrange them. I think that's the fun part. Okay, it's been five minutes. Here's our ocean pouch. It's huge. What do you think it feels like now, Matt? Oh, it's weird. It's weird, right? Now it, it feels, feels like, like a memory foam bed, but firmer. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. The question that I got was, can you reuse these? So this is a very thin material. When I design it, I'm gonna poke holes all in this that side will not be usable again. I think that you could probably flip it on this side and reuse it if you really wanted to get two uses out of it, as long as there, this didn't get totally destroyed in your design. So that will probably depend on how many flowers you use, where you're using it. Let's try this one. This is one of my favorite pieces. Oops, there we go. Love a trophy vase. I got it to fit, shoved it right in. After I'm done designing, I'm going to top it off with water. Roses are gorgeous. It looks like we've got some basic roses in here as well as some garden roses. 
The majority of the flowers in this bouquet are roses, so I think I'm gonna start there. Should I open them up? I always have this debate. They're easy to open, so I could open them. It just takes so long. I'm rolling the petals inward. That's pretty. Okay, these are done. These are a little wonky, but they're pretty. So we've got some anemones and ranunculus. These have the same stem type, so I'll probably place them at similar times. These are also similar, and these are very annoying to place because these stems break very easily. I'll probably place these towards the end just as filler. Love this one. So we're starting with our roses. I like to place it in the vase so I can see how far along I want to cut. Holds up really nicely. That is as high as I want to go. I want it to be kind of dome shaped like a garden arrangement and really full. The stems are so easy to place in the ocean pouch. It just pokes right through this way. This guy. I really love garden style arrangements. So when I'm designing, I'm just kind of mimicking the style of a rose bush. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's looking really good. The roses, I'm gonna save them until the very end in case there's a hole somewhere that I need to fill in. But I feel good about the shape, so I'm gonna move on to the next bloom. This is my biggest color contrast. I'm going to place these next. Move the green if you like a more modern look. Today we're going more gardeny, so I'm going to leave it. These have a softer stem. Even with a sharp angle, it's too soft to poke through the ocean pouch. So we're just going to use our scissors and poke a hole where we want it placed and then shove it through. That worked out nicely. Sharp angle. You really have to kind of like dig up in there. Looks better from this side. This is my front, by the way. This is my back. They're both pretty, but I'm focusing more of the pretty flowers in this direction. Oh, it just crunched. That one didn't work out. Okay, so this is where I feel like coral frog would be better with this kind of stem. It's my whole spot. There we go. Okay, let's see, can we push it through? We might have to get fewer. Matt thinks I should leave it before I destroy it more. It's like super hard to see it in here. Like hold my scissor in and then push it through. That one worked out better. Okay, so definitely place these earlier in the game. Matt's tired, he had a date last night. Recently broke up with his boyfriend and now he's dating again. So if you know any eligible gay men in DC, DMV, or are you only doing DC? Well, I guess he's in Virginia, so. He's in Virginia. Um, yeah, Matt's on the market. But this one's really crunchy, so we gotta keep him short. I'm into it. These granulas are my favorite. There's not very many of them though, so you gotta be careful with our placement. Oh yeah. Is this my front? I've lost my front. That's a good sign. That means both sides are pretty. Or both sides are really ugly. However you want to look at it. To leave the scissor in here and then pull it out and place the flower at the same time so I don't lose the hole. Ah, that turned out great. That one, so good. One thing I should note, probably should have mentioned this a lot earlier, the ocean pouch is marketed for day of use, meaning it's a great event tool. The way that it's packed in together, the flowers do begin to fall and droop a bit after multiple days. The last time I used it, I would soak the flowers in water in the evenings before I went to bed, and I had to last for about five days looking nicely. I feel like three days was really good, and then day four and five was a little iffy. Right? Yeah. So it does look best, like 24, 48 hours after designing. I feel like that's every arrangement. I mean, it's yeah. true. Flowers die. 
Flowers are already dead, they're cut. We're just taking advantage of your final moments. I lost my hole. <laughs> I love the droopy ranunculus, but all of these are in such great shape I don't even have a droopy one. Better. Okay, this is my front. Otherwise, a lot. Color looks good together. I don't even know if I want to use these. This color's kind of, I wouldn't pick it. Maybe I'll just go with these. Make this into their own little arrangement. I use carnations as a filler. I know a lot of people don't like carnations, but they're one of my favorite fillers. And what I like to do is I like to group them. Especially these, these are mini carnations, so there's multiple blooms per stem, which I really like. They break very easily. And use them as filler. Group it, cut it, like that. So it's just a nice little filler that gives a little more color and texture. That looks nice. Okay. What do you think about? I don't know, it's kind of fun. It's like very springy. Let's just do it. It'll be such a little detail you won't even be able to tell. I'm gonna tuck them in. A little dimension of color. I like it. They're not delicate. I'm just ripping them. Okay. I think that's nice. I am a floral maximalist. I may use tools for a kibana, but I believe more is more with flowers. I love them so much. I think the little details are what make arrangements so special. Okay, the last thing they gave me were these eucalyptus. They get me to add them. I like the tone. It's really pretty. It's not something I would have normally picked at the flower market, but I actually really like it. And I think it'll help our overall shape. And these are very easy to place. Love that. Now, what do you think? Do you hate it? I don't know yet. No. Drew's still out for Matt. I don't think Drew's been through. That's. I hate it. I always hate this space where I don't cut it. Mm-hmm. You should just leave it alone. I'm not done. Stop adding more. The roses left. I'm just going to finish out any shaping. Just like the details. Okay, I think we're done. Finally, here is the front. Okay, this is it, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the flowers. I really enjoyed making this, and I love sharing it with you. I love this little floral community. If you make flower arrangements and want to share them with me, I'm always excited to see them. Thank you. And here is how it turned out. Don't forget to add water.